Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Care for here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Vepper, Russian submarine. The Vepper, known as K-157, is a Project 971 Skulka B, also known by the NATO reporting name as Akola 2, class nuclear powered attack submarine of the Russian Navy. Her keel was laid down on June 16, 1990 by Sevmosh. She was launched on December 10, 1994, commissioned on November 25, 1995, and homeported in Gazivo. Vepper is armed with four 53, 533mm torpedo tubes, which can use Type 53 torpedoes, RPK-6 or the RPK-2 missiles, older type and caliber type armament, naval mines, and four 650mm torpedo tubes which can use the Type 65 torpedoes or the RPK-7 missile. Um, the Akola class is a uh, very deadly class of uh, submarines and one of the most modern submarines that's currently in use by the um, Russian Navy. Overall cool build and should be an awesome one to add to your uh, BAFTA boat Waltz as a nice 1 to 5 scale build of it um, and our ever growing Russian fleet that we have. Uh, before we go ahead and jump into this build, though, I do want to go and give special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and place a small amount to the channel every month. And in doing so, earn a vehicle request you're choosing per month for your patron. Um, it really helps support the work I do on my channel. It's really greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check that out. Again, link for that is always in the video descriptions. With that, though, let's go ahead and dive in here to take a look at the Vepper. So, pretty simple build. This is my 1 to 5 scale series, my BAFTA build, so it is going to be a bit of a smaller build here. Uh, but pretty cool design here. We have, obviously, it's pretty much like a standard submarine. Um, you got your main hull of it, a um, little um, bit of a uh, gray tip nose there, which is kind of cool. The uh, diving planes there. You have the conning tower, which has the periscope and all the instrumentation, all that stuff that it has on top there. Uh, we get to the back of the submarine. You have, uh, again, some more stabilizers, your propulsion here with this one propeller. And then you have this kind of cool uh, pod that sticks up on top there. Not exactly sure the, uh, the purpose of it, but it's pretty cool. And um, kind of uh, makes the submarine stand out, uh, being a little bit more iconic compared to um, other ones. Anyways, though, that's pretty much an overview there for the uh, Vepper and the Akula 2 um, submarine. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put good use with both that. Let's go ahead and dive into the build. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started here with the build. Now, the first thing I want to go ahead and talk about here is building the... Um, submarine in the water. Obviously most of you guys are going to want to put this in the water and if you are planning on displaying it in the water um, there are a few different ways. Obviously you can have the submarine completely submerged in our water however for a lot of us we're probably going to want to have the submarine kind of at surface level you get to keep, retain a lot of detail um, in keeping it kind of surfaced or in dock or whatever you're doing in particular. Now what we're going to be doing here for this submarine um, to keep it kind of basically surface perfectly with the water is we're going to be going ahead and starting our red layer, so this really bottom layer here, this red one, we're going to be starting this basically one block underneath the water surface. So this right here, this blue uh, concrete is representing our water surface, and the red here is going to be the start of our build. So just kind of throwing that out there if you want to go ahead and set up this example for you. Uh, but this is how you will want to build the submarine in, in the water. To begin with, we're going to place down a brick top side, cut off the front here, and then a top side to both sides of this red concrete block here. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of red concrete down the center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 red concrete blocks down the center. We're going to go ahead and take our brick stairs. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 brick ups downstairs. And over here, same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 brick ups downstairs. We'll then place down two red stained glass panes back on both sides. From those stairs there and then we're going to take our pistons and we're going to go ahead and place down two pistons and we're going to go ahead and place down pistons underneath these now an alternative to this here if you are not on java is to go ahead and do as follows i would recommend placing down a red concrete block and then a brick up stair so if you again are not on java 
I would recommend placing out a bright red concrete block to break up sound stair like that instead of those two pistons. However, for Java, we will be using the pistons here um, because we do have access to this debug tool, which we'll be using to modify the pistons shortly. We're going to then place down two brick top sides back, then a red stained glass pane, and then a brick wall, just like that to go ahead and bring us to the stern of the ship. Now, with that all done, we're going to go ahead and basically need to change our palette of blocks um, over to basically black. So we're going to use grab some black concrete, some dark oak with fence gates, signs, birchwood slabs, uh, some black stained glass panes, and some polished black stone walls for the time being. We're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block on top of this uh, wall right here. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate going back with a dark oak wood sign on both sides of the fence gate, as well as a slab coming off of it like that going back. We're going to then take our black concrete, we're going to go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 black concrete blocks forward. We're going to go, and go to the side of this one up here, we're going to go, and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And same thing will be done over here on this side, all the way like that, toward the front. Now in the very back here, we're going to go ahead and grab our polished black stone walls. We're going to place down two walls, two black stained glass panes. Same thing over here, two walls and two black stained glass panes. So go ahead and start rounding out the back. After that is done, going back up to the front here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone, some anisite walls, and some light gray stained glass panes. We're going to place down three stone full blocks here, a stone block in the center, an anisite wall to both sides of that stone block, an anisite wall coming off the front here of that stone block, and then a light gray stained glass pane in the corners there like that to go ahead and start forming up the front there of the sub. Now we're gonna go and then grab ourselves some dark oak wood trap doors. We're gonna go ahead and go to the second row of three of black concrete from the front and we're gonna place down two dark oak wood trap doors across like this. Now on top of those trap doors, we are gonna go ahead and grab black carpet and we're gonna place down two black carpet on top of those trap doors. Now for the kind of top here of the hall, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some polished black stone slabs and some stairs. We're going to place it on a polished black stone slab on top of the stone block here. And then a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 black concrete down the center. We're going to go ahead and then place it on a polished black stone slab on both sides of this block here. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 uh, polished black stone stairs back. And same thing over here on this side, like so. <clears throat> After that, we're going to go and grab our black stingless panes. We're going to place down two black stingless panes going back from those stairs. Then grabbing our pistons, we're going to place down two pistons down the center like so, and then two polished black stone slabs down the center. We're going to go then place down a black stingless pane like so, which will be followed with a polished black stone wall. We then want to place down two polished black stone slabs like this, and then we're going to take our dark liquid signs and place them on the sides here of these slabs so just like this to both sides. We'll also go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull that's going to come off the front here of this slab and then a chain going back from the slab on the other side. And then we're just going to take our uh, slabs and we're going to go, ahead and go to the second stair from last on top of this black concrete block between those stairs we're going to place down a slab like so. Uh, we'll place down our piston. Again, an alternative here to the pistons on the back here can be the same thing you did below here. So black concrete block and then a polished black stone stair instead. Um, and then also for the um, section up here, you can go ahead and just place down a polished black stone stair um, instead as an alternative. Going forward from this, we're going to place down one, two, three, black concrete. And then onto the top here, we're going to go and grab a redstone repeater, a iron bar, a flower pot, and a another brick wall. We're going to place down our redstone repeater, separate the notches from each other like so, a iron bar with a flower pot on top, another brick uh, fence post, and then a iron bar on top of that fence post. And then lastly up here in the front, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame. And we're also going to need a, an, a cache wood button and a red concrete block. We're going to place down a item frame with a red concrete block in the item frame and then a, a cache wood button here if you're on Java. Again, only on Java can you place down an acacia wood button and item frame in the same block space, but it's going to be right there. And again, you can go ahead and just place down the item frame and the red concrete block only if you're on a different version. Uh, the last thing here for us to do now is to go ahead and grab a debug stick. This can be obtained on Java by typing the command slash give app p minecraft 
colon debug underscore stick. So this command right here and pressing enter here will give you this glowing stick. What you're going to do here is you're going to go ahead and go to your pistons. You're going to left click to get selected extended false. Then we're going to go ahead and right click it and it's going to say extended true and it's going to get rid of that wood portion. So just a nice way to kind of help get a little bit better shaping there on the whole of the submarine. Um, but after we have that all done, that right there is going to complete my design here for the Akola class um, submarine of, known as the uh, the Vepper. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do abuse this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be linked from a side of the build to my channel or this video if this does appraise social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. Again, a big special links to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And, um... All that. With that, though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.